Terry fans in the mood to make a wrestling DVD review. We're going to review the latter match. Featuring Shawn Michaels, Edge, The Hardys, Triple H, The Rock, Chris Benoit, Matt... I'm sorry, Brett Hitman Hart, Eddie Guerrero, Rap and Dam, Chris Jericho, and more. It's a three list DVD set. On the back, you got Edge. Follow the ladder match, the evolution of the ladder match, and how it's become the most, to be the one of the most popular matches in, today in sports entertainment. From the earliest match, ladder matches through the TLC matches and the Money in the Bank. WrestleMania tr tradition. Some of the craziest and most violent ladder matches are covered. Some of the most amazing ladder matches in history will be presented in their entirety, featuring superstars such as Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Edge, The Hardys, Chris Benoit, Undertaker, Ric Flair, Red Hitman Hardy, and others. Very good artwork on here. We got Matt Hardy and Edge in a ladder ma match. Then we got Chris Benoit performing a headbutt. On Chris Jericho. The ladder matches are one of my favorite type of matches in wrestling. They're pretty. They're always great to watch. You put a ladder match on the card, and I guarantee you they're going to have some sellouts. Let's get started. Match one is is Big Danny Ritter, who is actually known as the Junkyard Dog, for those who didn't know, and Jake the Snake Roberts. From Stampede Wrestling in a ladder match for a North American Heavyweight Championship in cash. This was, a, a, they only showed like the last seven minutes of this match. And they, and it's actually the money was not hanging from a chain, it was hanging on the roof, hanging on the ceiling. Actually, the Raptors are, I apologize. That was a pretty, it was a good match. Very good. And here's a match that's extremely rare. Ladder match for the Intercontinental title. Shawn Michaels for Spread Hart, July 21st, 1991. That set two, I'm sorry. That was a very good match. Brad and Shawn always could put on some good matches. I'm not reading the, I'm not telling you all the uh, chapters because it's just basically going to waste, you know, waste of my energy. And by the way, they didn't include the ladder match from WrestleMania 10, which sucks. Well, however, they could Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon from SummerSlam 1995 Intercontinental Title match. That was a very good match. That was, that match was a classic. If WrestleMania 10 was a movie, then Re Sum Sum SummerSlam 1995 would have been the perfect sequel. Here's a very underrated match from SummerSlam 1998: The Rock vs. Triple H in a ladder match for the Intercontinental Title. That was a very Exciting match. Triple H and The Rock is one of my favorite feuds in wrestling, regardless of either whoever was heel or face. And there's one of my favorite matches ever. Probably, in my opinion, the best match of the 90s. We got Terry in a, in a, we got Terry's tournament ladder match, Edge and Christian versus New Brood, which was Jeff and Matt at the time. At that moment, it was at No Mercy. 1999. That was an excellent match. That match is perfection at its best. First ever TLC match for the World Tag Team Titles at SummerSlam 2000. We had the Deadly Boys versus Edge and Christian versus the Hardy Boys. That was an excellent match from SummerSlam 2000. And here's the WCW match, Cruiserweight Championship. Actually, a live match for her contract for the Cruiserweight Championship. It was three count versus um, J U N G Dragons versus versus Jamie Noble and Evan K A R A G I A S Star K two thousand. That was a good, very a good match. Also, one of my favorite matches. I'm glad they put on this card show is um, Chris Benoit versus Chris Jericho Royal Rumble two thousand one. That wasn't perfect match for the Intercontinental Title. It's again one of my favorite feuds. WrestleMania 2017. Edge and Christian versus the Dudleys versus Hardy Boys. What more can we say about that match? That's enough said. And here's a rare match from SmackDown 2000. Everybody calls this the forgotten TLC match. Edge and Christian versus Chris Benoit and 
and Chris Jericho versus the Hardys versus the Dudleys for the WWF Tag Team Titles. That was an ex that was a good match also. Edge and Christian, No Mercy 2001, ladder match, Intercontinental Title. That was a very good match. They were very good in that match. A match I'm also again another match I'm here happy to see on here is Edge with Christian from for that match. That was good, but this one was probably much better. Robin Down versus Eddie Guerrero. Raw 2002. Excellent match right there. Another match I'm happy to see on here is Jeff Hardy vs. The Undertaker for the WWE title from Raw, from Raw 2002. That was an excellent match. That was a very good match. And also The Undertaker turned face in that match as well. TLC match for the tag team titles from Raw 2002. Kane and the Hurricane vs. Rob Van Dam and Jeff Hardy versus Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley, Chris Jericho and Christian. Good, good match. But Kane more was basically defending the titles by himself because Hurricane got jumped. It, Christian versus Chris Jericho, Unforgiven 2004, Intercontinental Title match. Decent match, but nothing too special. I apologize by if anybody for that. WrestleMania 21, Chris Benoit versus Chris Jericho versus Edge versus Selton Benjamin versus Kane versus Christian. First ever Money in the Bank match. That was a very good match. Well, another match I'm glad to see on here was probably it was my favorite match from 2005 SummerSlam. Was Eddie Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio, custody for the Dominic in the latter match. That was a very good match. That match is just really awesome to watch, and it was very um, emotional. It was a very um, heated, emotional storyline. Loser re leaves Raw ladder match from Raw 2005. This was when the Raw returned to the USA Network. We got Matt Hardy versus Edge, where Lita screwed Matt. <laughs> TLC Table Slash and Chair match. Ric Flair vs. Edge, Raw 2006. Good match, but um, Edge had the upper hand. John Cena vs. Edge, WWE Championship, table, Tables, Lives, and Chairs, Unforgiven 2006. A, a very, it was a good match, but um, Edge probably would have won that match if he had the chance. Here's a very good match, Raw from 2006. Jeff Hardy vs. Johnny Nitro, very good match overall. Last match was Unforgiven 2006. Paul London and Matt Brian Kendricks vs. The Hardys vs. William Ringo and David Taylor vs. Eminem. Very good match, and they, everybody got hurt in that match. So yeah, overall, the latter match is a very good DVD. Could have been nice to have some more latter matches, but. They, had, they missed out some other ones, like WrestleMania 10, but overall, this DVD is worth checking out. If you love the latter matches, I urge you to get this one. I give it a 9 out of 10. Very good DVD.